Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man, back with another Halloween-themed alternate cut, discussing Halloween, The Homecoming. Halloween The Homecoming is not just an alternate cut of Halloween Resurrection, but it was the original cut. It's different from the work print version of Halloween Resurrection that sometimes floats around the internet. Halloween The Homecoming is much harder to find. As a matter of fact, it's nearly impossible. What a shame it is, too, because I prefer this version by a mile, or I guess I should say, by a miles. And by miles, I mean Deckard, the character in Halloween Resurrection that gets sort of lost in the shuffle. He was originally intended to be a much bigger character, and in Halloween The Homecoming, we see how significant he is. The test audiences, for whatever reason, loved Buster Rhymes, so they ended up making him the hero in the final cut of Halloween Resurrection. In Halloween The Homecoming, Deckard is the hero. I won't go into specific detail about that, but it's pretty awesome. Of course, there are other differences as well, and plenty of them. With the exception of the producer's cuts of Halloween 6, Halloween The Homecoming is the most significantly different alternate cut in the franchise. The changes start immediately. The opening is completely different. The Homecoming begins with home video footage of the Myers. And yes, that of course includes young Michael. We then get a different narration by Laurie and a different introduction to her in this version. Her death is slightly different as well, as are other deaths in this cut. There is more dangertainment stuff, which contributes to better character development. And a big change in the movie is Sarah's scream. In The Homecoming, we get to hear Bianca Kalich's actual scream more than once. That's important, since Freddy, played by Busta Rhymes, makes a big deal about how great she can scream. After all, she's supposed to be the final girl in the film, or the scream queen, if you will. For some reason, though, they redubbed her scream in Halloween Resurrection. It's very generic in the final cut, whereas in The Homecoming, it stands out. We can understand what Freddy means when he praises it. She has a set of lungs on her, and one hell of a scream. Why, oh why, would they change it? So strange. There is different dialogue in scenes, and there is alternate music throughout. There is a really cool extra scene of some of the characters finding a Myers Family photo album. In Halloween The Homecoming, we actually get to see Tyra Banks' character's death. In Resurrection, we only see her body, and we have no idea what happened to her. Yes, we can assume Michael killed her, but we don't know how. Halloween The Homecoming shows us. The ending of this original version is completely different, and this alternate ending, or original ending is much better. Again, I won't go into specific detail, because I don't want to spoil it, in case you do come across this alternate cut at some point. But most importantly, as I already mentioned, Halloween The Homecoming really capitalizes on the Deckard character. And the ending, specifically the last line, in my opinion, is perfect. I also have to say, I much prefer this title. Halloween The Homecoming is better than Halloween Resurrection. When Halloween Resurrection was first announced, I remember thinking, how are they going to resurrect Michael Myers? He lost his head. 
I wasn't the only one either. People literally thought they were somehow going to resurrect his body. I remember all of the theories, and one of them being some sort of witchcraft or supernatural solution to somehow put him back together. Yes, it earned some curiosity, but I think overall, Resurrection did a disservice to the film. Halloween The Homecoming, however, makes more sense. It's a fitting title. It's a shame this wasn't the final version of the film. As it stands right now, Halloween Resurrection is a lot of people's least favorite Halloween movie. But who knows, had this cut been released instead? It might not be a least favorite in the franchise. For some people, anyway. I absolutely prefer Halloween The Homecoming. But the cool thing about both versions existing is the fact that we have alternate cuts. Please be sure to check out Jason's video as well to hear what he has to say about this one. Have you managed to track down and watch Halloween The Homecoming? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Which Halloween-themed alternate cut will we discuss next? Check back next week to find out. Until then, remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>